Let's break the silence about the Unbreakable album. Since it still hasn't been re-released on vinyl, it's nearly impossible to afford a copy. Prices are insane on all platforms, and while the label takes no action, the only ones profiting are the pirates. In this case, it's understandable why people buy unofficial copies. Spending nearly 1,000 euros for a copy is unbearable, even for diehard fans. In this episode, we'll discuss the differences, the quality, and the sound of the records, what you can expect from all of this, and how to identify unofficial records to save your money. You're watching the Scorpions Collectors Club. Let's get started. As you may know, vinyl records began losing popularity in the late 1980s, primarily due to the rise of compact discs, CDs, which offered better durability, portability, and sound quality without degradation. By the 1990s, CDs dominated the market, further pushed by MP3s and streaming services in the 2000s. Vinyl returned in the mid-2000s, with a full resurgence in the 2010s. Back then, labels pressed records in small quantities to avoid financial risks. Now let's get back to the records. Here's what we have. The first is the original 2004 European pressing released by Areola BMG. The second is an unofficial European pressing from 2021, released by SSM Records EU. According to Discogs.com, this label is a closed music community based in Estonia that maintains contact with friends only. The third is a fresh Russian pressing possibly made in 2023 to 2024, also unofficial. The last is a test pressing. Although it's listed as a 2004 German test pressing on Discogs, this is false information. It's actually the test pressing of the recent Russian record. The original 2004 record is the only official vinyl release and contains 11 of the 13 songs. My City, My Town, and This Time were excluded. The record comes in a gatefold cover with a single pocket printed on one large cardboard sheet that is bent and glued at the bottom. It looks like this. The band name and album title are on the top and right folds. The cover has more saturated colors and the image is clearer. The matrix on the record is stamped. Next is the unofficial European pressing by SM Records. You won't confuse it with the original because there are many differences. Different design. The cover is a standard cardboard sleeve for a single record with a more bluish tint and less detail. It appears to be a scanned and enlarged CD cover. These patterns are identical on both, the record cover and the CD booklet. There's also a sticker noting it as a limited edition. The back cover is a customized version of the last booklet page with the same patterns and the red spot. This record has different release information and a different track list. This pressing includes 10 songs featuring my City, My Town, excluded from the original, but omits Borderline, Someday Is Now, and This Time. The vinyl labels and scratch matrix are completely different from the original. You may confuse the Russian pressing with the original because they're almost identical, but there are still some differences. The cover is glossy, slightly darker, and less detailed. Unlike the original, it's made as a standard dual pocket gatefold cover for double albums with two separate printed parts glued together. There's no band name or album title on the top. The band name and album title on the right fold, the credits inside the gatefold cover, and on the back use different fonts. The back cover is nearly identical to the original, but the note says made in the UE instead of made in the EU.
The vinyl labels have the same typo. The matrix is scratched and slightly different. The track list is the same as the original. Now for the test pressing, it's a white label record housed in a plain white cardboard sleeve. It comes with a fake info sheet listing all 13 tracks. The scratch matrix is identical to the Russian pressing. So if you come across this copy for sale at a high price, don't waste your money. Once again, we draw your attention to the fact that this test pressing is unofficial. We will update this information on Discogs by the time you watch this video. Now we will compare the sound of the records. The sound on the original record is the clearest and loudest. There are some crackles, likely because the record needs to be cleaned. The unofficial European pressing has a slightly duller sound with some surface noise. The volume level is also reduced. Both Russian pressings sound identical. The sound level is almost the same as the previous record, but the sound is clearer with less surface noise. The low frequencies are a bit less pronounced, but it's barely noticeable. The samples are very short due to copyright restrictions, but we will upload an additional, longer video featuring the sound of these records. The link will be in the description. All the records are pressed on heavyweight vinyl. The scale readings are as follows. The original, 193 grams. Unofficial European pressing, 189 grams. Both unofficial Russian pressings, 175 grams. In conclusion, nothing beats the original, but it's worth noting that the unofficial pressings have decent sound quality. The Russian pressing is slightly better than the SSM Records pressing. If you miss the chance to buy the original, these pressings should still satisfy your desire to listen to this album on vinyl. The Unbreakable album is in urgent need of a reissue. It's a very strong record. According to a poll among members of the Scorpions Collectors Club, the majority rated it as either excellent or very good. Reissuing it as they did with Acoustica, a double record featuring all tracks, including the bonus tracks, would be the best decision. Even adding the song Miracle would be an amazing gift for all Scorpomaniacs around the world. We all understand the importance of supporting the band by buying official records. However, since it's nearly impossible to purchase one without spending a lot of money, some fans are left with no choice but to resort to bootlegs just to enjoy this amazing album on vinyl. So let's keep our fingers crossed for a new reissue. Well, it's time to wrap it up. What are your thoughts? Would you buy a reissue? We'd really appreciate it if you could share your thoughts on this album. How do you rank it among other Scorpions albums? Let us know in the comments. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss anything interesting. Thanks for watching and see you soon.